Jeff. You did quite a lot of the, the leg work and the heavy lifting. It must be quite satisfying to see Jack Russell's in the ring. Um, yes, I was, I was absolutely thrilled to bits. Um, it was a long, long, longish process to get the breed recognised, but, but a couple of years ago when I first saw the breed as it is now, most people know what Jack Russell is. Yep. They've seen them around the farmyards and, you know, the, but originally the breed was sent to Australia. Right. And, and it was Australia that developed them into the breed that we see here today. Oh, sure, right. Then they were exported all over the world, yeah. which is kind of ironic because, you know, they are a British breed, yeah. but they did all the work and, and now we're reaping the benefits. When I, when I started to inquire about them, we were the only country that didn't recognise them, no. and we were the country of origin, so yeah. I decided that this was not quite right, and, not right. and so we should, we, should, we should do something about it. So I, I started the process, and um, you don't just apply. Yeah. You need pedigrees of all different yes. bloodlines, um, etc., etc. That took quite a long time to get. There were a lot of people that helped. There was one, one high-profile person in the kennel club who helped me enormously. She knows who she is. Um, and I can't thank her enough. And here we are today, and you know, 47 for the first time is brilliant. And, and they've come from all over the all over the world: Sweden, Denmark, Italy, a lady from Argentina, wow. uh, Belgium. And the ringside was packed, so the the interest is huge. The the ringside has been has been packed. We struggled to get a camera down to, to see best dogs. Yeah, so yeah that's right. It, yeah. it was difficult. And as you said, we got 47 showing today. I saw you in open dog earlier on. Um, are you satisfied with the quality you've seen today? Yes. I, I mean, we're, it's, it's early days for the breed. Um, obviously, there's a lot of dogs from overseas uh, who added to, uh, you know, type will take a while to, to, to settle down. And, but what I saw today was a lot of quality dogs out there with the right proportions, because proportions are very important. Because when the breed was, was created by the Reverend John Russell, as he was called, he wanted a particular dog. He wanted a small dog that would hunt, go down the foxhole, to be able to turn around and bolt the fox. So it was a particular type of dog that he needed with the right proportions. Yeah. And so, size. size. And size. And character. Yeah. That appealing head is very much what we're looking for as well. You know, you have to think about what the breed was, was created for. There's still dogs out there that do work, and, yes. and, and, and no reason to think that these dogs in the show ring won't work, because working ability comes from up here. Um, and if it's there, then they'll always do it. And they've got lovely temperaments. They'd be great for kids in a, in a family environment because they're rough and tumble. You know, they're not, and they're, they're a natural dog. There's no, there's no uh, heavy trimming on them. That's that's frowned upon because that's not what we want. Yes. So, so they'd be a, a really good dog for all sorts of, of, of work. They do them agility and obedience, all that sort of stuff as well. What's their popularity like around the world? Oh, huge. Yeah. I mean, huge. Um, I went to the World Show in in Milan last year. I think there was 200. Wow. Uh, the interest here is phenomenal. So many people have seen them now. I don't think they were quite sure quite what they were like because, again, this is the first show for them. So, but now they've seen them, everybody's clamoring to get them, yeah. which in some ways uh, is a little bit worrying. You don't want an explosion. No, I, I know, because then, because then we, we, get, we get the unscrupulous puppy farmers who just want to produce puppies. Yeah. We, don't, we don't really want that. And if someone wants a puppy, which they no doubt will. Well, we, we have a we have a, a breed club in the, in the process now. If they can contact the breed club, uh, the, the secretary is Leslie Roberts, or if they want to contact me, and we'll 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 sort of point them in the right direction. But but there's, you know, as, as yet there are not masses of puppies around, so you know the, the demand it will take time. Is, is far outweighs the supply. Are there any health concerns that, that people have? Um, no major health. There are there are certain health issues that, you know, from day one we're going to start uh, encouraging people to test for, yep. so that we start off with the right you know uh, health regime going along. Mm -hmm.